Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, this time around I'm going to be doing a review for episode 4 of season 2 of Fear the Walking Dead, and it is called Blood in the Streets. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, before I begin, though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those that have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already stopped the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those that have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I've given you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So as usual, quick snaps, dislikes, and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, the episode has two parts, so you have one part where it's on the ship, and the other part where it's Nick. Um, kind of three parts, because you also get some flashbacks with with Strand. So yeah, um, starting off with the flashbacks with, with Strand, it's basically how he got his wealth. Um, turns out he's gay. Okay, um, didn't expect that, but he's gay. Okay, uh, yeah, so it turns out he's gay. Um, it turns out this ship, Abigail, belongs to his boyfriend, Thomas Abigail. Um, and basically what he's trying to do, he's trying to, basically he's trying to get to, to one of his friends, Louis, who we, who we meet in this episode, and see if they could get back to Thomas Abigail, and if not, just go into Mexico. So, yeah, so that's the, basically the stuff with um, the flashbacks. Flashbacks, more or less. Um, you know, they meet right after Hurricane Katrina. They, they start a relationship, and um, the flashbacks end. I, I I assume like a day or two before he's captured by the military and put into that cage in the compound where he meets Nick in season one. So yeah, pretty cool in my opinion to see how um, how he kind of started off started off as. Um, so the stuff with Nick. Um, he's trying to find Lewis. Um. He's trying to find him to get him on the ship because um, I guess Strand told him to go because of the um, since they're docked um, and stuff they can't really get any closer to shore so he's asking Nick um, you know can you get my friend so we can leave um, quick um, leave quickly so he does we eventually meet this Lewis guy um, again high end businessman and yeah we'd have um, Nick and Lewis a um, pretty funny interaction in my opinion uh, because Nick he uses the guts trick again so when he meets up with um Lewis Lewis is like what the fuck is wrong with you asshole um he's like oh they you know they don't follow it you're over the blood She's, so basically Lewis was like yo go change clothes or you can get in my car like that which is pretty funny you know like of all the things to take care of right now it's like your car um like he even goes on the side of the car and leaves like a small blood stain and Lewis is trying to like with like you know yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, so uh, that was pretty funny in my opinion. And last but not least, which is a major part of the episode, um, actually, uh, the ship gets invaded. We meet Jack, which is the guy that Alicia was talking talking to him back in episode one of season two, and we find out who this guy is. And yeah, um, he invades the ship. Him and I, I guess his not, I guess his brother and sister-in-law. So, yeah, they invade the ship. They say Connor is going to be here. They're going to see who's worthy and who's not. Alicia is worthy immediately due to the fact that she's the one who told them of their position. Um, Travis is starting to um, try to start up, um, start off, start up the boat again, make it run again, since Strand abandoned ship. Um, yeah, Strand abandoned ship. He's, he's shot down. He's not killed, but he's shot down um, from, on the, from the raft. So, there's that. So he's shot down because he originally was just going to go in and just kill the new people, the people who just invaded the ship. But due to the fact that Daniel took out the magazine, he can't really do that anymore. The magazine from his um, from his machine gun, he can't really do that anymore. So he decides to um, jump ship. Um, tra um, Travis now has to restart the boat. And boat and he manages to restart the boat. You have Alicia who's kind of playing Jack. Um, I don't think they're going to go into really... I'll be surprised if they accept... Jack at the end. At the end, I'll be extremely surprised. Yeah, I think they should just kill those people at the end. I'll be extremely surprised if he survives um past this season or the mid season finale even. So yeah, so pretty cool. Um, at the end, um, they kill most of their captors. You know, they well Connor, the leader of the cap of these pirates or the captors. Um, they take Travis, they take Alicia because those are the only ones worthy. And although normally they would just kill the rest of the group. They promised Alicia they they will keep them safe at least until shore, or at least till they reach shore, and then they will just you know leave. Since Alicia, since they owe Alicia something, as they did, as they did 
uh, she's the one who contacted um, their group, um, albeit accidentally and not knowing what she, what she was doing, she still did so. Um, so they said, we'll pay you back at least this one time. So, yeah, but at the end you have Lewis and Nick, um, as they're reaching the, the, the Abigail, um, they see that there's some hostiles, you know, the pirates, so they kill two of them, and Ma Daniel and Madison are able to to escape their minds because they're binded, um, and you capture a third one, the third guy who is there, and yeah, um, pretty good episode in my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, I'd say it's top three episodes of this show thus far. Um, yeah, thus far top three. Um, overall, good episode. I really do like the development of Strand. That was pretty interesting. It was weird how he jumped ship though. Um, I didn't really think that was part of his. I, I really wouldn't expect that from him. I mean, granted, he is a survivalist, and granted the fact that he, his gun, that Daniel took the magazine from his gun, so I would see that, but even after that, I wouldn't expect him to jump ship. Um, it just seemed out of character for, in my opinion, and stuff. The, the flashbacks, they were done pretty, for the most part, they were done pretty well. Um, when they first happened, I thought they were um, a commercial or a sneak peek to, um, the Night Manager or whatever the, that new show was called, the miniseries that AMC has. I thought that was, a um, um a look into that, you know, like a sneak peek. But you know, I, then I did realize, oh, never mind. That's um, that's a flashback. Okay, that's pretty cool. So they take them some time. So I will say the flashbacks could have been done a little bit better, pacing wise and whatever. Overall, though, really good episode. Um, the gut trick again worked. Um, Lewis, pretty interesting character in my opinion. Um, I wonder if we're ever gonna see that Thomas Abigail character ever again. And yeah, now then you find Travis and Alicia and. That's going to be fun. Um, Chris, um, the stuff with Chris was pretty funny in this episode. He's flirting with Ophelia, um, and they're talking about, you know, previous, um, relationships they've had. Um, so it's, that was pretty funny, and it kind of, I wouldn't say they go hard on the relationships with Chris, considering there's not many people he could go on with. Um, considering that Ophelia may go with Nick, and Alicia's kind of just more, they're step-siblings, so it's not really like he could do much. But it was funny how one of the, not really funny, but it was kind of, it was funny in that creepy way. It was funny how one of the captors teased him about, you know, him sleeping with Alicia. So, I, so yeah, it was kind of creepy but funny. So, um, unsettling. So, yeah, overall, really good episode. I really did like it. Um, you know, especially the character development with Strand. We do, we do get Strand at the end. We, they rescue Strand at the end. And, yeah, I mean, overall, really good episode, episode, and can't wait to see what happens next week. On a scale of 1 to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'll give this episode an 8 out of 10. Overall, really great mo um, movie. Really great episode, and, yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.